Hi, hey babes, EP Sweet here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Are you beautiful or are you just trending? Wanted to come on here and talk about this subject because it's been on my mind for the last couple days and I just thought it would be something nice to kind of talk about but also get into this new concealer that I got that's been raving all over TikTok lately. It's from Hourglass and it's the new like concealer that has people in a chokehold. So I'm gonna try it on myself and let y'all know what I think about it. Um, I don't have any makeup on right now. I just have skincare and Carmex on my lips and I'm gonna be applying the concealer with this very old e.l.f. concealer brush that I got from the drugstore. So if this interests you, then keep on watching and let me know if you like this type of like content where I'm kind of like trying out makeup products, but also talking about subjects that I usually talk about. You know what I mean? So anyway, this concealer is in the shade Brandy. Um, I really do like the doe foot applicator. It's actually super cute. I have this like um, concealer brush mainly because like I don't like wearing too much makeup these days if I'm not going to wear like full makeup. So I like to kind of like get a little bit of product on my brush tip first before I apply it on my face. So like I'm not really going to get into much of like a full review of this makeup but you know what I mean? Just something that I can like talk about while I talk. Are you beautiful or are you just trending? This is a topic that I don't think is like very much talked about really. I think it's talked about in like segments, but not necessarily talked about in a way where I think it's like critical, you know? Right now, there's like certain aesthetics, especially like on TikTok and like other places that are a little bit more like about how, what is like TikTok pretty versus what's like, you know, um, conventionally pretty and like pretty privileged and all that. You know, those topics always come up like every five seconds. And I'm at a point now where I'm like, I definitely think that being beautiful and being trending are two different things, but they're also like, can be double dipping at the same time. Let me cook, let me cook. For example, my last couple videos lately that has been doing really well are about natural hair. And I'm aware right now that like natural hair is not trending, like at all. Natural hair is not something that is like getting clicks and all of that unless it's like you're on that OG YouTuber vibe of like how to get your natural hair to look like a certain way and be a product junkie and all the things. And I'm like at a point in life right now where I'm like, I am doing unconventional things that have to do with being like a natural girly. And I think that's something that is not trending, but it doesn't mean that it's not beautiful, right? Whereas in the community of black girlies right now, it's like being a straight hair natural, like wearing your hair straight, these like little like fruit fly moments, I don't like, but anyway, um, these moments of like being a straight hair natural or like perming your hair again, like, you know what I mean? Like have an agency with how we do our hair. It's definitely, definitely like giving us perspective about like that's trending right now but also like having your hair straightened is very beautiful i'm really loving this um concealer by the way this is like one half of my face i just did under my eye out of the eye a little bit around here and the core of my lip i just feel like it just makes my face look like my face but better you know what i mean like hourglass you really put your foot in this but anyway i think being trendy is what people want more than being beautiful even if society or media doesn't confirm that to you or show you that and because that's like a thing where people are legit not um feeling 
beautiful, it's more important for people to feel like they're trending so they can see that there's like a validation in that, right? And at this point, it's like, what really matters the most? Is it being beautiful as a woman or is it being affirmed? Is it being something that, you know, is going to go out of style in the last couple of years or the next couple of years? I really am starting to feel like that's the priority for the state of women now. Not only just black women, but just all women. Like, I think we just want to be trendy and we want to feel affirmed in what the trends are because it kind of like is tied to our worth, right? But, but with that being said, it's like, at what point are we going to like get out of the roller coaster of like, of affirmations from society because you know what happens with trends, right? Like with trends, they go out of style. When they go out of style and we're placing how we look on what a trend is, then we have to chase the next trend. And then we have to be a people or a girly that is basing her whole self-esteem about what's being affirmed and what's being you know said as this is what's trending so that's beautiful right like for example i'm african right being african right now is very trendy i said what i said i remember when being african wasn't trendy and i also remember when the, the people i knew were african were denouncing themselves being african because it wasn't trendy like just let's keep in the buck like this was really what was going on back in the day. But now that it's trendy to be African, people are claiming and putting flags all, all in their profile. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that's not a bad thing. Like, you know, a lot of us were kids back then, so you want to fit in. But like being like a grown up, right? I just think that we should care about being ourselves and being individual, being individuals and like, honing into our individualism because at this point I think our self-esteem is too much wrapped up into something that's never going to be what we think it is and it's never going to fill our cup and y'all I'm really loving this concealer like yeah this is here to stay um hourglass and I own a lot of hourglass stuff let me know in the comments if you want me to do like a review about the brand in general because I've tried a lot of Hourglass things and I have a lot to say about their brand and like how their products work. So let me know if you want that. I just think being a beautiful person is more than just what people say is beautiful because we all know that the standards are different. Like. For example, like the Korean beauty standards or like the Asian beauty standards, it's different than it is in Western beauty standards or even the Middle East or even in West Africa or East Africa or South Africa. You know what I mean? Like Eastern European, like there's so many different views of what beauty is. So I'm just like, at what point do we just kind of let things be and just be ourselves and be just beautiful for who we are versus trace chasing what a trend is? You know what I mean? Because people shouldn't be trends, you know, like we shouldn't. And at some point, I just think we're going to have to have to make a decision of what it means to be you know, affirmed in ourselves, whether or not the media says we're one way or not, or TikTok says I'm TikTok pretty or not. Because at this point, like, who is TikTok to tell me, like, what is TikTok pretty or what is, you know, social media pretty? Or like I said in my other video, like, what is a baddie? You know what I mean? Like, at this point, yes, like, I do make Instagram and TikTok and, like, YouTube titles and captions to get people's attention because I have a message to spread. But like, I definitely, definitely believe that like that gets into our psyche. So again, to answer the question, and you know, I'm just trying to blend out my face because I'm just really feeling how I'm looking right now. 
Um, yeah, I feel like I look like a better version of myself, but like kind of a bit more concealed. Um, yeah, this hourglass concealer is really giving the girls something to do. Like, this is really, really top tier. So I'm gonna put it down and get back to the subject because wow, I'm just like, wow, I'm just gonna put the whatever remainder of my fingers just on my neck because at this point. Are you beautiful or are you trending? And at this point, I think a lot of people are going for what's trending and they're never gonna figure out what their most beautiful versions of their self look like because they're chasing what's beautiful in the media. You know what I'm saying? And at this point, I just think we need to be confident in ourselves where no matter what's trending, you believe you're beautiful because you are beautiful. I'm just keeping in a bucket root. You're beautiful because you were wonderfully made, okay? And I'm thinking at this point, trending is cute. It's like a little bonus push. Like, I'm happy that there's more eyes on Africa and more eyes on being African. But one day, the pendulum's gonna shift and it won't be that cool to be African anymore. Like, the novelty will wear off. But it doesn't mean I'm not gonna be proud of being African or I'm not gonna be proud of, like, my heritage or my aesthetics because I'm very solid in my identity. But like, I think it's gonna get to a point where having dark skin and having, you know, certain hair texture or whatever isn't gonna be the gist. And I think in the early 2010s, late 2000s, when natural hair movement really jumped, that was trendy. But now I think it's going to take a long time until like natural hair again becomes trendy. So I think that makes it even more important to like really push your self-esteem and confidence when you do something that you know is going to not get you the amount of attention or um, clicks online, I guess. I don't know, because it's not a trendy thing right now. So yeah, this was like a little mini rant and kind of a different format of like me trying out this concealer that I'm loving while talking to you guys. Um, let me know your thoughts about this. I did not have any scripting or plans for this video. I kind of was like, I just want to hop on camera and like rant a bit. <laughs> so let me know your comments down below what you think. Um, my name is Evia Sweeney. Always know that you glow for a living because you're from within, beyond skin deep, and I will see you in my next one. Bye y'all. Also, close up. Yeah. This concealer eight. Real bad. Bye.